Hi, my name is Hermione Lofton, and I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Pacey Strahan, and I'm a sophomore. I am Lily Dobbins. I'm also a sophomore. I'm Brian Beaven. I also happen to be a sophomore, and we're from Waverly. This is, this is our cheer! coded. <laughs> <laughs> it happens so suddenly. One moment it's summer, you're sitting by the pool, soaking in the sun. Ice tea in your hand, listening to the top 20 hits on the radio. Nighttime campfires with gooey marshmallows. Wearing crop tops. Spaghetti straps, cutoffs, and literally no one cares. As more and more pressure from the incoming school year mounts, you, you remember, remember the, the dreaded dress code. When your mom drags you to the mall and every single one of your flaws is brought back from the recesses of your mind. I panic when the mannequins from Forever 21 point and laugh. They say I have no hips. Boobs, too big. Legs, too short. And I'll never be as eye-popping as Kim or any seven-foot-tall supermodel, for that matter. They, they look, look perfect, perfect in those clothes, clothes yet when I try, try them on. on. That shirt's too short. Pants too big in the waist. V-neck too low. I'm left banished to the clearance section. Grabbing at itchy sweaters and stained pants. Flipping through pages and pages of the school handbook. Trying to find some profound reason I try to wear all left or left machines, but not sports bra straps. And, and after, after that, that confidence boost, I entered the school feeling... The stairs on my back. The jerking glares run down my neck. Are there too many holes in my jeans? Is my dress too short? Should I have brought another shirt? Am, Am I, I going, going to, to get, get dress coded? If we get dress coded, we are forced to sit and wait for our parents to hopefully bring us a fresh pair of clothes. Or wear someone else's from the lost and found bin. This seemingly minor offense could be put onto our permanent record. We can be kicked out of clubs and extracurriculars. I go to soccer practice in 100 degree heat. The guy's solution to this problem is to just take off their shirt. If I ever dared to take off my shirt, I would be removed from the soccer team because administration gasps at the sight of a sports bra. <gasps> my clothes have become nothing more than a wet, boiling weight dragging me down. We, we have, have enough, enough to worry, worry about just in daily life. life. I've got five tests. Three, Three essays. One group project and seven teachers all demanding every second of my time. We shouldn't have to worry about if our outfits are too short. Or if our shoulders are showing. Why should I put someone else's comfort above my own? Why should the images of my body limit my education?